The first time I saw it, I thought, I could build something like that. So I did. Most people thought it would be just too hard to build. But with the right tools and materials, you can build anything. My name is Malcolm. I love to tinker and build things. I've created my homemade Segway right here in my shed. The reason I made a self-balancing scooter, just the idea of having a mechanical electronic system that could stand up by itself, seemingly to defy gravity, it's, uh, it just fascinated me. I started with the research side, sourcing the parts, finding the electronics that I needed to use and to integrate with it. I do a lot of work in the carport, so neighbours do look inquisitively over the fence when I'm working on some of my projects. The components that are used in it, the motor control, it's an off-the-shelf motor controller. The gyro and accelerometer in it are the same devices as what are used in smartphones. All of the development was done using just a normal PC and a laptop. You step onto it and you hold with your hand the joystick on the pole. When you lean forward, it goes forward. When you lean back, it goes back, and you'd use the joystick on the pole to steer left and right. It's accelerating one wheel and slowing down the other, which makes you turn the corner. He spends all day and all night in that shed. I love riding it. I enjoy it so much. I'm thinking of taking it shopping. Some people think he's eccentric. <laughs> but I just think he's brilliant. I have to wonder a little bit what my friends and family think of this sometimes. They all know I'm a nerd. I can live with that. You'd be surprised what you can create. You just have to be determined and stick with it. There will be mistakes, and hopefully lots of them. You might just surprise yourself and everybody else.